peace, love, and light be amongst you, you and you. I thank you for coming on today. Um, I felt so led in the spirit to come on and pull some cards today. Um, I hear spirits say communication. It's time now for somebody to communicate something to someone. Um, perhaps it's something that you need to say. Or perhaps somebody's going to have something that they need to say to you. But one thing I want you to understand, you have to be open to receive the communication that they're trying to say. For once in your life, listen. I just heard Spirit say, for once in your life, just listen. For one week, I encourage you to just listen to what Spirit is trying to lead and guide to you. Communication, the throat chakra. Pay attention to what people say. Sometimes people are just spiritual messengers sent by God. Gatekeepers, watchers. I hear God saying, stand in your truth. It's time for you to stand in your truth. Whatever gifts you are being led to pursue, pursue them. Step into your power. Unlock your potentials and vibrate that gift. Send out that healing frequency into the universe. Save humanity. It's time. Gifts. I'm saying gifts. People are starting to realize they have some gifts. It's scary. Never scared. Never be afraid of the unknown. Never be afraid. Let's get into these cards. The unknown is what's saving you right now. Little do you know. Some of you have higher powers that are protecting you. And instead of you embracing spirit, you're pushing God away. God is a God of love. See how that light just shone down on me? God is a God of love. You can't see him, but he's right there all the time. I thank you, Father, for your presence. Thank you, God, for visiting me at this time. May these messages that I give vibrate to your frequency. May it send healing into the land. May it be accurate clear and precise to the person that is listening. I send healing, love, and light to whoever is listening to this right now. Let's go into these cards. Spirit, what messages do you have on today? energies out today. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. 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 Okay. Well, off the bat, I can see that this is a love reading.
this is a beautiful read. First up, we have the Emperor, Higher Power. Angel number four. The Emperor is somebody that's highly um, sought after. The Emperor. He's sitting high on his throne. He's in balance. He's crowned. I see this emperor sitting. If you look, it's like he's sitting on cloud. There's higher powers that is in the heavens. Angel number four representing protection, ascendant masters. Somebody has somebody that's in the heavens that's protecting them. The emperor is looking down. God's watching something that you're doing. It's something that you're doing or something that you're wanting to change. And he's he's watching from afar. And here you are in this star mode. Um, angel number 17. You're wanting to change the circumstances in your life. Spirit, I hear spirits dealing with you on another level. It's time for somebody, somebody's watching this and you're thinking about taking a trip to the water or you need to be by some water. It's time for you to connect to your angels that are at the water side. It's time for you to get creative and understand that there is a higher force that will answer unto you. You're being watched. And as you are working to manifest and do everything, it's working out for your favor. It's time to get by some water. Your angels will deal with you by the water. Your answers will come from by the water. And I, next up, we have this Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, Swift. Perhaps there's somebody that you're dealing with or that you were dealing with that had a swift energy. They were in and out of your life. Um, that's what I'm hearing. They were in and out of your life. They were in and out of your life. This Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, and they were in and out. It was like one foot was in, one foot was out. And you didn't know what to do. And it led you into a state of confusion with this person. Which road do I take with this person? Which way do I go? Do I continue following this path with this person? Or do I try it with somebody else? I'm hearing two people, two of wands, two people that are trying to communicate emotions to you. That's what I'm hearing. You're in a, a, a frenzy, a mind boggle with two people, two of wands. You don't know which way to go. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, two of pentacles. Look at that. Dolphin spirit. The rainbow, creative, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Somebody different is coming in with a, a new energy. And it's a work situation. It's work involved. Pinnacles meaning money or work. It's luck that's favoring on your side. God is showing favor to a new situation. Dolphin representing childlike creativity, feminism. Something new is about to manifest because next up we have angel number seven, chariots, dealing with God. Which way are you going to go with this? What are you going to do? The chariot, you have a decision to make. I'm hearing spirits say a decision. It's a decision that's needing to be made. And you're going to have to make this decision. The 
which way are you going? You going on the dark side or you going on the golden side? <laughs> Whatever decision that you make, you're making it in love this time. Love is going to show you favor. Next up, we have the Three of Cups. Somebody soon is coming in. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy to express love. Love is about to be shown. Your cup is about to run it over. Whatever decision that you made, it was a spiritual decision. The energies of the heavens was with you on this decision. You didn't make up your mind, so your ancestors made up your mind for you. And they pushed you to this new decision. Next up, we have the Page of Swords. So, Page of Swords, Childlike, something, something new is um, birthing. Something new within communication, protection, a new beginning in something, something you've wanted to change and you asked God for it. And it's almost like you're stepping into this higher power now. And you're not knowing how to go about it. But you have a newness about you. Something is new. Your cup is overflowing. You're feeling this newness. But you're also in hermit mode. Angel number nine. Endings. You're going through the ending parts of it. You're, you're, you're phasing out of this connection. You're finally detaching yourself from a connection. And, 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 and it's gotten you so guarded and protected now that you watch how you surround yourself with people. You watch how you communicate with people. You're stuck in hermit mode. You're analyzing everything. Virgos, as Virgos, Virgos tend to go into a deep hermit mode. Virgos love to overanalyze, overthink things, but that's also a blessing. Because you're analytical about everything. You're going back over and you are reviewing. You're letting, when God deals with you, God deals with you in a dark place starting off. So you're shining your light as spirit leads and guides you. Next up, we have Six of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, money. I see large lump sums of money is coming in. And you're trying to balance it out, all this money. And look at all these hands. Look at all these people. They're not for you. They're for the coins. Money is coming in tremendously. Lump sums of money. But you got to balance yourself out. Always remember. If no balance, everybody's going to pull. And that's what I'm hearing. Energy. Somebody's dealing with energy vampires right now. People pulling from your energy. And they're not really there for you. And you're trying to figure out how to detach. Isolate yourself. Go in hermit mode. It's time for people to go in hermit mode. Set boundaries. I'm hearing boundaries. Set new boundaries for yourself. Protect your aura and your energy. Once you learn how to balance these scales and isolate yourself and really connect to God, two of cups, look at that. Look at that. Two of Cups. Somebody's ready to express their love to you. Somebody is ready to come out and say what it is that they need to say. Cancer, 
Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm hearing somebody's watching this and you've been having issues in love. You feel like you start something and it just never works. You feel like every time that you try something new in love, it's never meant for you. And, and you're starting to question yourself. You're no longer questioning other people. You're starting to question yourself. Is it me? Am I not good enough? You're great enough. God loves you the way you are. It's time now for you to learn how to isolate yourself, to be alone. Connect with God. Balance out this new offering. I see a Virgo Taurus Capricorn coming in and offering you some money. Two of Pentacles. It could be work. It could be travel, too. I also see travel. Somebody's traveling by water. Or perhaps pretty soon you're about to be traveling as you're working. You're gaining money by traveling. But two of cups, love has not worked for you because you have not found somebody spiritually inclined as you. One thing about people that are spiritual, as my grandfather always used to say, angels will never die and angels can never get married. And I never understood what that meant, but now I do. It's very hard identifying who your spiritual connection is with. So I stand here today to say love is coming in. Somebody who is spiritually inclined just as much as you is coming in. They're coming in strong. And love is here. If you look, look at that. They have two of cups. Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Look at that. The light is shining down the heavens. Is blessing the both of you. The light has you protected. Both of you are protected. And love is about to shower you. You're finally finding that person that's going to understand you. You're finally finding that person that you're going to be able to talk to. You're finally finding that person that you truly and truly do a love and adore. And they're coming in very strong. Next up, we have the world card. Angel number 21. I see you now in your full and highest power, manifesting with the moon, staying up late. Look at that. She has the wand in her hand. She's one. Somebody has 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 graduated spiritual school. Somebody now has the world in their hand. Spiritual school, as I like to call it, you graduated with your ancestors. You've gotten the magical wand, the keys of life, the world is now yours. You've ascended. You're in your full power. If you see, she has on this mask. She's in her fullest power. The world, the light is shining at her. The world. Angel number 21. So we have angel number four, protection. Angel number 17, Angel number seven, God. Angel number nine, major endings and new beginnings. Peace and balance, new beginnings, new manifestations are here. The world is yours. Love is here. But this Aries, this Leo or Sagittarius, they were in and out. They were swift. You didn't know which way to go. And you went to a different path. You finally decided to release this. And the person might come back. But this energy of in and out of your life, you're done with it. You're now choosing to walk a different path. God allowed the chariots to come and to show you one way that you were going was wrong. 
and you chose the right way. In spirit, I'm hearing three, the number three. I'm hearing spirit say there's three powerful women that are in the heavens or three ascendant masters that you have and angels. They're protecting you. Fairies, I hear. Fairies. Everything that you want, the wishes is at your command. Three powerful women. Your fairies. Your wish is at their command. But you need to tap into your angels. Because there's good news that's coming in. There's a lot of money that's coming in. But you, you have people that are around you that's not benefiting for you. And this person that's coming in is going to show you so much love. You've now graduated with your ancestors. Your ancestors have promoted you up spiritually. They're proud of you. Now it's time for you to make them proud and make the right decision. Walk the line of your ancestors. Always respect them. Step into your full potential powers. The world needs you. The world needs you. It's time. The world needs you. It's time. This situation with this Aries, this Leo Sagittarius, it almost took you out. But God rebirthed. Because I see a lot of water rebirthed. I'm hearing you need to be by water. Somebody needs to be by water. Baptize yourself. And everything that you wanted, now focus on everything that you want. No longer focus on... Focus on what you need. Don't focus on what you want. Excuse me. Focus on what you need and not what you want. It's time now to step into your higher self. You vibrated low with this Aries, this Leo, or this Sagittarius. But this Aries, this Leo, or Sagittarius is not going to go nowhere. They're stepping into their higher power. It was a situation that God had to put you through to make you see something bigger and deeper. And now you're walking with spirit. Love is on the way. The world is in your hand. The world is in your hands and love is on the way. Claim it. This is what I have for you today. May God be unto you. May peace, blessings, love, and light shine upon you during this time. Grand Risings, Kings and Queens. Islam, happy holy day.